I recently got a new mechanical keyboard and it doesn't have a home and end button, but it does have a page and up and down button. So I'm going to map keys. So we're going to install sharp keys, which is on the Microsoft store. I use the home key and the end key a lot when I'm programming. So what I mean is, is that when I have my cursor here at one end of text, I use, I hold shift down and press end to get to the end of a line of text. If I use the page down, I'm just highlighting a bunch of code. But I want to just quickly highlight a line and make an edit. Windows is going to ask you permissions to install sharp keys. It doesn't show up in this video, it's invisible, but you'll see me kind of click in the center of the screen. So I wasn't paying attention, but you're going to have to activate to allow this download to continue. Okay, now it's installed. Let's bring sharp keys up. Yes. Okay, we're using it at our own risk. Right, add a key. And we need a key. Yep. So we're going to click OK, and then we need to key this to home. home. Oh, OK. So then we need to add down key down. We're going to do end instead. Uh, home refresh stop. Oh wait, that's the web, so that's completely wrong. Um, we're kind of looking for home end. Volume up, mute webcam. It's not the numpad, though. So. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we need to edit this because um, that's not right. I don't believe it is. Okay, and then we need Adam Space. Home, there we go. All right, so now we're going to write to, we're going to save these keys actually. Uh, and we'll just chuck them somewhere. Save, and then write to registry. Okay, now let's, um, what did I say? So we need to reboot the computer to see if this works. I just want to see if it works right now. So I'm going to do end. No, nope, it doesn't work. So let me reboot and I'll get back to you to see if this works. Okay, so now you can see that my end button works. And if I go to the end of the line and I do my page up, it works like a home button. Instead of moving up and down a page, I'm moving across the line. So we've successfully remapped our keys with the sharp keys. Really simple tool. I'm glad it's finally been put on the Microsoft Store. I think it's a feature Microsoft needed for years, but just has been left unsupported. Um, especially with the advent of mechanical keyboards. So thank you for your time.